Ever wonder what your taxes pay for? Your hard work may be footing the bill for someone else to get free perks. We're talking lifetime health care, a free car, free gym membership, and a nice monthly cash bonus. Steve Keeley wants to know why one guy is living easy off the money you pay the state. Well, you don't want to talk to us at your office. We thought we'd get you here. Well, I'm not going to talk to you today. Yeah. You don't want to Making talk to a huge you public salary, salary, getting public lifetime salary, public benefits, and, the, uh, and raking in lots of public perks were Olympic sports. Years, Gloucester County's David Shields would have a few gold medals up on his mantle. I worked 33 years, and I was part of the system. Shields' combined government salaries, that's right, he has more than one at the same time, makes his pay, perks, and premium health insurance the stuff of legend. And since this is New Jersey, that's really saying something. You don't want to talk to us about your public uh, salary, public benefits? No. I... Shields heads two separate authorities here in Gloucester County. The same kind of authorities New Jersey Governor Chris Christie has labeled shadow governments. Shields makes $185,000 a year as executive director of the Gloucester County Improvement Authority. He's also chairman of the Gloucester County Utilities Authority, which pays another $5,270 a year putting him over 190000 That's 15000 more than the governor gets paid. But the county taxpayer cash to shields doesn't end there. He gets another $3,600 a year, 300 bucks a month, because he doesn't take his county health insurance. That's because he doesn't need it. He's already very well covered for life. From yet another government job he left 10 years ago as West Deptford Mayor and Township Committeeman, where Shields was granted lifetime health insurance paid for by the West Deptford taxpayers. That's lifetime health coverage passed and approved by the Township Committee in the 70s. Shields' health care package is now worth close to $27,000 a year. And still the taxpayer paid perks and pay don't end there. We caught up to Shields driving his new 2011 county car, not on county business, filled with gas, also paid for by taxpayers, headed for his gym. And we really mean his gym. The community center is named after him here in the Riverwinds development right on the Delaware across the water from the Philadelphia airport. And naturally, when a place is named after you, you don't pay to go here like everybody else. Shields membership for life is free, while other families are charged $474 a year. You feel guilty taking cash because you don't use your county benefits no, on top of this $185,000 no, salary? I, I actually think that's a good program for people. Isn't that just too much money out of the public's pocket at this I think, time? I think at this time, when we're looking at it now, but 33 years ago, I mean, I think the real story here is the cost of benefits. Is that a, is Benefits that a, are outrageous. I know, but you're getting those benefits. You're getting well, like a quarter million well, dollars I mean, a year. You have a deal with your company right now. Now, if you work 30 years... My company's a private company. Well, it is, but I pay for it. I pay for Fox News. I pay for service. I pay for everything. But hold on for a second. The whole world's changed since Shields left the West Effort Mayor's office 10 years ago. The economy way down, taxes way up. And while current teachers are cut, past decisions on big benefits to ex-officials are no longer so affordable. And while the world's changed, Shields' attitude doesn't, until he's asked for a moment to think like a typical taxpayer, and then even he doesn't know if he'll want to stick around if he gets stuck with a big new high tax bill. Oh, I'm Obviously. retiring. I'm 65. I'm retiring, Steve. Are you staying here or are you going to take your money and run? Well, it depends on the taxes. You have a full-time job in the private sector. You have benefits through that. Did you have any kind of guilt feelings when you got elected and you said, you know what, I can't take this? I never even knew I had benefits when I first got on the township committee. 15-year-long West Deptford committeeman Democrat Len Dawes has been fighting to stop those lifetime health insurance benefits for elected and appointed officials. It wasn't until like a year or two later um, that it became obvious to me. It wasn't one of the things that was well advertised you know, 15 years ago. When I found out about it, I said, well, what's the cost? And they said, well, it's costing basically back then. It was probably ten dollars or $12,000 a year. I said, this is a really good health plan, isn't it? So, I mean, it's up to 26000 something now. And it's 26 for a family, 23 for a couple, and 10000 for an individual. And it's, it's well beyond even what's being paid for at the private sector. Do people even have to do a $10 copay at the doctor's office or any kind of prescription copay? No, it's a very nice plan. This is a plan that every American would kill to have, huh? It's, it's, a, it's a Cadillac. Dawes has fought his own party leadership for years about stopping the lifetime health coverage for themselves and figures that's probably the reason the local Democratic Party didn't back him for re-election 
and so he's now running as an independent. Is it a bunch of people who say, you know what, I got these great lifetime health benefits, I'm not going to vote to get rid of these? There's probably a little bit of that. Um, but or a lot of it. There's probably maybe, I'm sure, a lot of it, right? People retiring with lifetime benefits that at 20, 25 years, you know, do the math. You're talking about half a million dollars. Um, and in this day and age, the economics, um, you know, the taxpayers in New Jersey shouldn't be asked to, to foot that bill. Should West Effort do away with these lifetime health benefits? That's up to the current town. Now, what's your opinion? My opinion. As a, as a, as a voter, I, as a resident, as, as a taxpayer. As a voter, I think that anybody coming in new should not get the benefits. I think benefits, when we had lifetime, when we started out with benefits, benefits probably cost $4,000 or $2,000. I think they've gone up probably double from the time I left. I'm not positive on that. They've gone up more than double. Yeah. And, and it's ridiculous the cost of health care. And that's just that's what we're missing. But you don't have to worry about health care like everybody else. Well, if I live. I think it stinks, Steve. I think it stinks to high heaven. Sam Cianfrini says he's so fed up with what he calls an abuse of his town's public office holders, he's now running himself to try and remove them. It's an abuse of our citizens. It's an absolute outright abuse. And it has to stop, and it has to stop here. That's why I decided to run for office, and that alone. And you think the people of West Effort are going to be happy to know that they're paying for your lifetime health benefits? I think some of them will think it's reasonable, some of them won't. I'm extremely outraged at what I see in here going on in my township. Well, Bob Matlow's took his outrage over West Effort's leadership and financial plight and channeled it into a website, growing fast in popularity, wdtruth.com telling his West Deptford neighbors about the town's leaders' benefits and about the township debt. I think it's utterly disgraceful that they, they, they take that much money from this small town that's already $142 million in debt. Well, how are they going to pay this debt? Are they going to have to raise taxes I don't like know. everybody predicts? I, I, don't, I, I, don't, I don't know. I, I'm hoping I, they don't. One last question. Do you work out at the uh, David Shields Community Center by any way? I have, a, uh, I have a membership there that I pay for myself and probably don't work out as much as I probably should. How much do you pay for that membership? Do you know of him? My family of six, we pay, uh, I think it's about $450, $500 a year. It's all the add-ons that get you kind of a little bit. It's overkill. You know what I mean? Uh, an additional 300 a month because you're not taking benefits. And I mean, come on. You know, let, let's be fair. Republican Assemblyman Dominic DeChico says Shields is a case study of all what he and Governor Chris Christie have been hoping to change. Huge health and pension benefits spiraling out of control. Shields, though, he says, is in a class by himself. How much can you take from the taxpayers? And, it, and at what point is enough enough? Do you pay for gas for the car? Uh, no. Well, you got it made. Do you pay for anything in life right I now? No, I pay for a lot. I pay you don't for pay for the gym, you don't pay for the car, you don't pay for gas, you don't pay for health benefits, and you're making $200,000 a year about. Yeah. What do you have to pay for? Do you pay oh, for I food? I pay for my mortgage. I pay for uh, four kids to go to college, still paying those college bills. And I pay for food, yeah, I do. All right, you pay for the food. Oh, yeah. About to turn 65 in a few weeks, Shields told Fox 29 News he's retiring this year. But he won't suffer such a massive pay cut even in retirement. He'll begin to start collecting yet one more benefit from local taxpayers. A pension of over $90,000 a year for life. Just like his taxpayer-covered health insurance. And he'll also start collecting full Social Security, too. Adding all up to a new combined six-figure take-home in retirement. And if he keeps working out here at the David Shields Community Center's state-of-the-art gym, he could live a long life and taxpayers will end up paying for a long time. In West Effort, Steve Keeley, Fox 29 News. After all, it's your money. If you have a story you want us to investigate, call the Fox 29 Investigates tip line at 215-982-5566 or log on to our website at myfoxphilly.com.